Ha ha, hello, welcome to the video. Today I am at Swift Performance because if you didn't know already, um, if you've seen on my Instagram, I'm doing Auto ID Track Day at the end of this month, 30th of September. Um, myself and all of the Auto ID crew and anyone else who has signed up to come along, we are doing a track day at Landau or Clandau, it's south of Wales basically. So I'm going to be taking the M2, the M2 Comp. Um, I've been doing a load, a load of upgrades this month, basically preparing the car for my very first track day, not just in this car, but ever. Um, and I wanted to kind of share my experiences and the journey and what I'm learning as I'm going along um, towards this track day and then, and then I'll explain and uh, come up with a conclusion of what I've thought, etc, etc. Anyway, so let me give you a little update of what I've done so far to the car. I started off with um, changing the rear tyres, they needed changing anyway. Um, don't ever cheap out um, on tyres, they're the only thing connecting you to the road. Um, so I went with Michelin Pilot Supersport 4S's, but what I did do was I went wider at the back. Um, so I've gone with two... S I've forgotten already. I've gone with two 7.5s at the back, so the stock ones are 2.65, um, same profile, but I've gone with two 7.5s, so slightly wider at the back. And what that means is I've got a bit more like contact with the ground, should have some more grip. Um, so far, it's given me so much grip that I can't even really do slides out of junctions anymore. Um, the fun factor in that has been taken away because basically when I try and send it out of the corner, it just grips and I, I fly down the road. So they've been amazing in the wet. I've even been flooring it in the wet when it's been raining and it's still been hooking up and flying off down the road. Now that caused a problem though, because I, rem I kept the stock fronts, which were 245, and they were super sports as well. I had super sports front and back. Um, so I had four S's at the back that were wider and super sports at the front that were stock. And now what I instantly noticed at high speed, um, the front felt really, really disconnected. Um, it, was, it was actually quite scary. Um, I, would, I would be driving with Seve, the boys, um, and as I was driving along and I was trying to push the car, the front end just didn't feel grippy at all and it actually felt very scary. And so back to my point about never cheaping out on tires, it's the only thing that's connecting you to the road. I, this month, recently, a couple of weeks ago, upgraded my fronts to PS4S's as well and I went 255 at the front. So now I've gone wider back, wider front. The offset was obviously causing the, the unbalance. The minute I did it and I drove down the road, I've got that feeling back. It's very, very grippy. The, the, basically, it was so bad that I had to change the, uh, the steering on the M2 to Sport Plus because I needed that extra weight because it just felt all over the place. But now I can actually hoon it in comfort and it's got so much grip, it's been perfect. Now, the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing an alignment, an alignment. So from factory, these cars have a, a lot of camber. They're kind of aligned. Um, I think a little bit more like this so that on the road, I'm, a, I'm not an expert, but on the road you've got a little bit more uh, oversteer, but um, I'm going to get the, 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 the wheels aligned so that they're a bit more straight or whatever, I don't, whatever Tim is going to be suggesting. Um, and it will allow me to have just basically a, be a better connection on the road, you know, help me drive better. Very, very scientific explanation. But today, at Swift Performance, the big up, the big upgrades are happening. Um, I will be doing brake pads, um, and braided lines, and brake fluid. So this car is the brake fluid service is coming up at the end of this month. Um, so it needs an upgrade anyway. And instead of going to BMW and just getting brake fluid upgraded, I've come here and I've got some proper brake fluid. Um, that's some proper race track slash road brake fluid. I'm also getting pads, DS2500s. If you're a nerd, you, you'll know what those are. Um, they're a, basically a road slash track pad, so I can use them after the track day. I can still use them on the road. Um, I haven't spent all of my money in having to take them off and sell them or whatever. And then obviously braided lines as well, because apparently um, the stock braided lines basically don't last longer than two laps. Um, you've, got, you've got to come in and, and, and the, the brake feel feels really soft and pushy and I don't, it's my first track day I don't want to write off my car I don't want to drive into someone or into the um, into the wall 
so I want to take it easy. I've obviously taken out track insurance as well. £190 from Morris um, Insurance. So if you're going to do a track day, that's who I've gone with. 190 quid, really, really good. Pay for the track day with auto ID. It's also it's a full day um, with dinner. Um, so that was 250 quid. Um, I'm an auto ID ambassador, so I got a little bit of discount on that. And then 300 pound for the front tires, uh, 350 pound for the rear tires. Um, and then we've got brake pads, braid lines, uh, brake fluid and alignment. And then I should be good to go. Worth noting as well, Bramble's gonna finish. Honestly, I'm gonna stop talking soon. Worth noting that I'm only doing the front brake pads. I'm trying to save a little bit of money because that's obviously a lot of money that I'm spending already. And I'm not doing rears as well. I'm just gonna do the fronts because um, I've spoken to a few friends and basically when you're braking, all of the, the load is mainly on the front of the car. So. I'm only going to do fronts and just save a little bit of money. We're going to see how it goes, you know. If I'll, I'll, I want to do lots of track days in the future. Um, I want to really, really push this car and enjoy it properly. So if I feel that it needs rears doing as well, we'll be back here, we'll be doing the rears. So, <sighs> ramble done. Let's go talk to Tim. He co-owns Swift Performance with Russ, Russell, who's not here today. He might be coming down a little bit. He's got a mental M2. He's just been at the Nürburgring with it. We might see it, we might film it. Let's go have a little chat to him, with him. Right, so this is Tim, who co-owns the place with Swift, um, with, with Russ, Russell? Russell, yeah. Russell, yeah, yeah. How long have Russell. you been here? Well, here exactly, we've been here now since April. Um, we have been working together though for probably 17 years, but previously at a BMW Specialist, right. uh, which Russell did own and I actually worked for him. Ah. But then I moved away to other ventures um, actually it was up to a, a Japanese specialist but I was just a service manager and I kind of missed being on the tools yeah. so we'd been chatting about maybe starting something up just almost playing with things that we actually prefer and we've always had a passion for rather than your day-to-day -day grime servicing etc cool. and we came up with this idea this and, cool. and started yeah, yeah. up this yeah. your name's actually your surname's not Swift is it? no no <laughs> it's not I'm, I'm Tim Green not right, Tim okay. Swift but, and it's Russell Foster okay but we just came, the name was just really something we just something you came up with. stumbled across yeah, yeah. and we liked the almost the shortened SP yeah yeah and yeah we just went with it like I just have you honest. saved a Swift on my phone <laughs> I thought your name was Tim Swift I don't know if I prefer <laughs> Swift you know who knows it, maybe, 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 yeah maybe, like, kind of like Josh with Auto ID Yes, just, yeah. Just fake it, yeah. Fake it, why not? I might actually sound better as Tim yeah, yeah. It sounds more, it, it more sounded, dangerous, it? Sounded, it? Yeah. it sounded legit. Right, so let's have a little walk inside. Um, here's this tasty little motor here. This predates me, I, I, I can't tell you anything about it. Um, yeah. Just tripped over that. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, <laughs> this is what we're getting. So this is the... Brake fluid, yay, very nice. I don't know if I'm gonna, if, if that's the whole can. I'm a complete noob to track days, so yeah. Uh, braided lines, here we go. This is what they look like. And I'm obviously gonna be able to keep all the stock stuff um, so that when I do sell the car, whatever, I can take this all off, put the stock stuff back on. Jobs are good, and, and then these are the pads which are closed at the moment. You know, I'll, I'll find some, open them later and show you, but these are the upgrades, I and mean, obviously we're doing the alignment, but this is Swift Performance. I didn't know that they had only been open since April. Um, so quite a, quite a new place. on this by going wider tires I'm still on stock suspension I don't have spaces it kind of fills the arch gap a little bit more so it's like a cheating way of filling arch gap without actually getting uh, suspension any kind of springs or anything like that but basically with a splitter I don't really want to get go on springs or change the suspension because I want to be scratching and destroying that front splitter so Wider tyres has allowed me to fill that arch gap a little bit more. 
give it a little bit more stance but I keep stock suspension and no spaces. Tim's just working his magic and I am stood in a super duper safe and friendly way of filming. Don't worry. Do it for the gram or the YouTube. Right, I'm a complete noob. Uh, these are the brake lines, right? Yep, hard yeah. lines, yep. Yeah. Okay. So we've just put a little bit of uh, like penetrating spray on there just because when these do get a little bit older, obviously yours will be fine, right. but um, the, the standard brake pipes, uh, they are like plastic coated. And on the slightly older models, the water used to creep up underneath the plastic. And it breaks down. Yeah, and it, it basically swells. So when you come to undo this 11 mil, it twists the pipe as well, which mm. obviously in turn, you then can't release the actual brake pipe. So right. you can get round it by heating it up, but you never like to heat up uh, brake pipes too much because obviously it's very flammable. But right. um, is this, am I, am I a noob, this, this is what I'm replacing, right? You're replacing this bit here, the, bottom part, right, the flexi yeah, part. So, yeah, yeah. so this is the one you're replacing here for a braided line. Makes sense, yeah. Right, so the pads are out, there we go. Standard stock pads are here. Still at loads, if that focuses. Loads left, which is good, good news. Um, obviously, like I mentioned, I'll be swapping back to these when I sell the car or whatever, so um, good to know. But the, the DS2500, so the reason we're upgrading is not because the stock pads suck, right? It's the temperature. Yep. After, after a couple of hot laps. Um, You'll find yourself no brakes. Right, okay. And then I guess that's the same thing with the, the braided lines as well. So they swell up, is that yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. These can expand under, you know, temperature, etc. But um, right. braided lines are, uh, as the name suggests, yeah, yeah. braided. So even though I'm braking, is it just that there'll just be a squishy? Yeah, you will literally get a lot of brake fade on right, the standard okay. pads, standard lines. You you go where your bite would normally be, say, just call it 50% on the travel. You'd then be kind of like Ooh. reaching for the floor and you know right. thinking, am I going to stop? Right, um, got you, got you. So you're 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 going with some preventative measures, yeah, shall yeah. we say. Here we go, here are the DS2500 pads. Nice and fresh. You can see, these are really dirty, but they're quite heavy actually. Here we go, oh, fantastic. There we go. So stock ones are all right, still got quite a bit of tread. Not really tread, but you know what I mean. Life left in Life, <laughs> there we go. And. Um, Right, whilst Tim is doing that, let's have a look at Russ's M2 comp in black. Look at this. The Cairo seats, carbon bonnet. Lovely. So yeah, he's just been to the Nürburgring, um, testing all the stuff that they put on there. Um, I think he's got coilovers that he's testing the settings on. But yeah, it's absolutely slammed to the ground. They've got the CS Gold 763M wheels on as well. Um, a lovely set of Cup 2s. This thing is an absolute weapon. You've got a wing on the back as well, for a proper downforce. Akrapovic full um, exhaust as well. So I believe it's a catback system, so the full thing um, you've yeah, it's, it's, I'm sure it's an absolute weapon. Maybe he'll, he'll take me out on it later, we'll see. And then obviously we've got Tim's um, M140i as well. Both are gonna be at the Auto ID track day, so I'll see them going around, going around the track, absolutely bombing it. Maybe we'll, he'll uh, take me out on that and I can scream and, it's because I'm scared, yeah. Anyway, on to the rest of the, uh, the upgrades. Main man Josh from Auto ID. Look at this! Hey! This has changed since I last saw you. Don't get too much of the uh, front bumper in, it's top secret. Okay, when, when's it going live? A couple of weeks of the track day, probably. So you're the first. First to see. First it. eyes. Okay, I'll keep it quiet. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can you? I haven't seen these either. We saw him. We saw Josh at the uh, the caffeine and machine track uh, M2 meet. So you've obviously seen the bonnet already. Sounds good as well. You guys, you guys can't see that. <laughs> Looks mega though. Oops, sneak peek. Valve's closed. So, everything, all the brakes done. Now we're just doing the alignment, last bit to do. Um, using the lasers to do some magical stuff. Yeah, that's about as far as my knowledge goes. But yeah, after that, we're going to be done and we're going to be track ready for the 30th of September. So, whatever Russ is doing, you've got basically the wheels are off center and he's lining them back up, sort of there in the middle. There you go, that's about as technical as it gets for me. And then also, back here, we had, we have, Joe Hillies, his, his YouTube channel was just playing because um, he was here a couple, Joe Hillies was here a couple days ago or last week, getting some stuff done on his M3 and I hadn't seen the video so we stuck up on the TV to watch it and um, yeah, very enjoyable. That is all done with the guys at Swift Performance. I got here at nine and it is just gone four o'clock. So managed to get, I, I didn't even get breakfast. So managed to get some food in just now. Um, cookies, great breakfast. Thank you very much to the guys at Swift Performance, Tim and Russ. Um, you will be seeing Russ and Tim at the Auto ID track day. So I'll be seeing this go round. And uh, Tim's M140, looking very much, looking forward to it very much. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how the car now handles alignment wise and brake wise um, I'm not going to do I'm going to end the video here. I'm very aware. It's very very long I'm going to do a little Review on the upgrades during the uh, the auto ID video instead. So the track day instead. So I'm gonna love you leave you Love you leave you. Thank you very much for watching like it subscribe the usual if you're new And I'll see you later in the next video